Hi, welcome to The Open Score. My name is Michelle, and if you play the piano, did you know you are practically an illusionist? Why? Well, legato playing involves smoothly connecting the notes. Uh... On a piano, that's actually next to impossible because it's a percussion instrument. The most we can do is create a successful illusion of a legato using the way we think about it, the way we listen to it, and also the way we approach the keys. So let's talk about the physical approach to creating a legato. The smoother our gestures are and also with our touch, the higher chance we have at creating that smooth, connected sound. One way to do this involves shifting the weight of your arm from one fingertip to another. Think of it kind of like when you're walking when you're shifting your weight from one foot to another. To get an idea about this arm weight transfer, transferring the weight of your arm from one finger to another to create a lovely legato, we can actually use our lap. In this case, the sponge is going to represent your lap. With a round hand, place all five fingers on your lap. And notice that the weight of your arm rests evenly on all five fingertips. Try balancing all of the weight onto your middle finger, the third finger. You can do this by gently hovering the other fingers a little bit off your lap. You'll feel that the third finger is going to sink in deeper into your lap. And once that happens, keep the same weight on your finger, but relax your hovering fingers back into the resting position where they're touching the top of your lap. Imagine that transferring the arm weight from finger to finger to produce a legato is like pouring water from one cup to another. You wouldn't just suddenly dump the water into an empty cup. You would slowly pour the water. As the water leaves the original cup and transfers into the new cup, that is like the weight transfer in legato touch. So let's try slowly pouring or transferring that weight of your arm from the third finger to the second finger by slowly moving your arm towards your second finger. Notice that the weight slowly lifts out of the third finger and sinks into the second finger. In a way, it'll feel like you are changing the pressure on your fingertips. And you'll notice that your thigh is lifting your third finger out while the second finger starts to sink in deeper at the same pace. Experiment transferring the weight of your arm between different fingers, such as moving the weight from the second finger back to the third finger, through the fourth finger, and into the pinky. You can even try maybe one, three, two, four, or even pairs of notes. And when you get comfortable, transfer that same feeling of shifting your arm weight and also the depth of the touch to your actual piano. And you'll find that the sound is fuller, richer, warmer. Your touch and the sound of that legato is going to be much smoother. I hope that helps and happy practicing!